Another favorite feature on the 32S2 is its ability to enter an equation and solve for it. So for example, I've written an equation here, area of a circle is pi r squared. And if I have a bunch of circles that I'm going to evaluate, I could enter these one at a time and I could do you know, pi and then put in a radius of two and I could square it and multiply the results together to get the answer. But that's gonna take about five keystrokes and if I'm doing this a whole bunch of times, there's good opportunity for me to make an error. So this is a great chance to do an equation. So I hit shift and then put an equation. This brings me my, to my equation list. And I can just enter the equation as I wrote it here. So I'm going to do recall, and that gives me access to the keyboard. You see the A to Z enunciator. So I hit this for A, and then equal is shift, the clear button, and then pi. I'm gonna multiply that times R. So again, recall r, and then square it. To put in an exponent, just hit that one, and then you can put in whatever exponent you want. You could also do the square here, but that's gonna give you a square function with parentheses. Uh, for example, right there. So I got square, and then I enter in my function, and then I'd close the parentheses off with shift, and then close parentheses. But I don't want that. So squared. And once I have it entered, I can edit it by hitting the backspace button. And then I can backspace to the spot that I want to edit. Unfortunately, you can't edit a single, you have to edit from right all the way. You have to delete from right to left until you get to the spot you want to edit. So there's my function I want. So I hit enter to evaluate it. And it automatically knows we're evaluating for A because it's on the left side of the equation. So what radius do we want? Enter two. Run stop, that gives us the area that we calculated earlier. Now I can go back to that equation, hit enter. What number do I want to evaluate this time for the radius? How about five? Hit run stop, that gives me my new radius. So it's very easy to do multiple calculations, especially if you have an equation that is more complicated than this. Go back to that equation. Um, if I want to solve for my radius, so I would go to shift and then solve, and it asks me what variable I want to solve for. Well, I want to solve for r. So what is my area that I have? It just defaults to the last a that was calculated. But for the radius of two, we had about 12.56 or something like that. So let's hit run stop, see what it solves. And it comes up with almost two for the radius. So that's about what we were expecting. Go back to my equation list. I have two equations entered currently. I can scroll through them by using the shift and then the up and down. So that's uh, the circumference of a circle. Go back to the top of my list. I can scroll down through the equations that I have. So this is really handy for storing commonly used equations if you do in your work or your school and you just want to quickly access those and solve for a variable. It's great. I really like this feature, very intuitive.